So if you have issue connecting to Bybit, Bybit.com here, then you can use Bybit Global, right? Bybit Global, uh, the IP address in Malaysia. Sometimes uh, you can't accept Bybit. So you need to go to Bybit Global. So if both of these you can't access, please follow my next step. So if you face issue to log in to Bybit, let's say when you click on Bybit, you just keep on loading, loading forever. This is because your IP address been blocked because the government, uh, this is not a regulated uh, exchange by our Malaysia government. This is actually a uh, global exchange, right? So in order to bypass this, you need to use VPN, right? So it's very simple. All you need to do is download VPN like me here. So uh, any free VPN will do, right? Google extension, right? You need to go to Google extensions. Then we can search for VPN. So this one is a free one, right? Touch VPN. So I always use this one. So let's go for the touch VPN and add to Chrome. Add extension, as simple as this. So if you click on here, the icon extension, right? You can pin your VPN here. Simply click connect, right? Now that you are connected to the VPN, go back to your Bybit, just refresh it, and there you go. So this is how you connect to Bybit using VPN. So there's actually another way for you to gain access to Bybit, and I prefer this way as well. All you need to do is change your IP address, right? So if you change your IP address, it won't be blocked anymore, and then you can use your fast connection, Wi-Fi connections to gain access to Bybit. Because sometimes when you use VPN, the connection get lost and somewhere in between your P2P transfer, right? If you do not Bybit in Malaysia, you need to use P2P transfer to deposit. Somewhere along that line, suddenly you transfer halfway and you got disconnected and we want to avoid that. So you might want to use, you know, IP address change to solve this issue. So right now I'm going to show you how to change your IP address. So all you get, have to do is press control panel. Then after you get control panel, you want to press your network. Press network and sharing center. Then you want to change your adapter settings. So right now you can see that my adapter settings, I'm using the LAN wire connections, which is the Ethernet. If you're using Wi-Fi, you select your Wi-Fi, right? So I have a Bluetooth for my desktop. Uh, for internet connection, right now I'm not using it. I'm using a LAN wire connection. All you have to do is right click, press status. So after you press status, right, you'll come up with your internet, your IP address, IP, uh, IPv4, IPv6. Then you need to press details, right? So the only particular things that you need to know is DHCP enable, meaning we're now using the IP address assigned to us by our router, right? So our router will automatically assign the IP address to us, which is this IPv4 address, right? This is your IP address that's automatically assigned to us. And this is the one that's been blocked right now for us using Bybit. And then we have the subnet mask and all this. So right now, you just need to know DHCPS and then your IP address, which is uh, 192.168.0.10. So now that you know all this, all you need is close. And then we need to press properties. And then you need to press the internet protocol version 4, which is the IPv4, double click it. And it will show out this internet protocol version 4. So right now we are using this option, right? We are obtaining the IP address automatically by our router, which is blocked by giving us access to buy B. So all we need to do is change it. So we need to click on the second one, use the following IP address. So we're telling the computer to use this IP address. Now the question is what IP address to use. So all you have to do is you need to press right click on the start and then press window PowerShell admin. And then you just need to type in this code here. IP config, right? You just copy IP config. 
you press enter so it will show up you know your your details right so this all right now this computer only access to the LAN wire connection right now if you're using laptop you will have a lot of previous connected connection you need to find yours connection that you're connecting currently right so this is your IP address this is a subnet mask and then your default gateway so now we want to find the available IP address that we can use from so you need to copy this ARP space the dash uh, dash a right ARP space dash a and you list out all the IP addresses that are currently being used so right now we are at 10 right 192.168.0.0.10 and then the IP address that already uses the 1 3 and 255 so any IP address other than you know 1 3 and 255 you can use that right the third the three segment before this they are all stagnant right you cannot change them you just need to change this one three two five five all right and then the other one the st a static one you don't really have to care all you need to know is that you can select the range from th from three to two five five which is four five six seven eight nine until two four four that's the available ip address you can choose from so right now i just have to take a random number maybe let's say i take 25 so right now i just key in you know all the same which is 192 168 and 0 at the ip address and i press 25 subnet here you automatically fill in right and then there's the gateway i will use this gateway here right so the default gateway 192 168 0 and 1 As for the DNS server, we'll use the Google DNS server, which is 88, which is 8888844. So this you can just follow mine, which is a Google uh, DNS server. You press OK. And press OK. So after a while, the internet will be, you will see whether it is this IP address, you know, available and can be used. So right now, it changed to internet. And then if you press details again, you see that the DHCP enable is now no. So meaning right now, we are, there is telling us that we are using the IP address that we assigned to our computer instead of the router, give it to, give it to us automatically. So this is how you change your IP address. So after you change your IP address, you can actually now go to Bybit without using VPN. So as you can see, I can access Bybit without using any VPN. So I have no issue with my internet connections. So if you face any issue, right, when changing your IP address, right, sometimes you will face some, you know, issue all you have to do is change back your IP address. So all I have to do is press again the properties, press back again the internet protocol version 4, and then all you have to do is press back obtain an IP address automatically. So if you press that, then you go back to the default so that you can gain back your internet if you face any issue. So don't worry. So if you face any issue that you can't use this method, you can only use the VPN method. So this is how you get a different IP address to gain access to Bybit.